Okay, now we're going to talk about some performance tips. And these are some uh, little inside tips that can help you with your Haver Eliminator and, and possibly with just uh, goggle performance in general. Um, the first thing you want to you want to do with this system is, and I'll explain, you know, we'll just go through a refresher course on how this works. Basically what happens is as humidity rises inside the goggle, there's a little sensor located here that will detect the rising humidity and it will turn on a fan inside the goggle. And this fan will work to evacuate the moist air from the goggle. It does it by drawing it in here and exhausting it through here. The great thing about this system is the eliminator fits inside the goggles, so we use the vent structure on the top. It basically remains the same. The vent's still there. There's no way for uh, moisture to get inside of your goggle because we're using the existing vent structure. But what you have to maintain is a clean surface here on the top of your goggle. Now, let's say, for instance, you're skiing and you're out in the snow. You don't want to get, as the day goes on, you're going to want to, main, you know, you're going to, want to be vigilant about maintaining a clear surface up here. You're going to want to make sure that if snow starts to accumulate on the top of the goggle, that you brush this snow off. Now, why do you want to do that? Well, because the way that a goggle works is when you're moving, let's say when you're skiing, air flows across the front of this goggle. It creates a low-pressure area down here. It draws air in the top and out the bottom. Rarely do goggles fog when you're moving. Goggles typically, if you're going to have fog problems, you usually have them when you stop. Now, what happens when you stop? When you stop, Warm, moist air inside of the goggle rises because warm air rises, and it comes out this vent, and it wants to flow out this vent. If you've got snow packed on top of this vent, or let's say you're using it in the summer in a motocross race or whatever, and you have mud on top of this, that's going to keep the warm, moist air from rising here. So to get maximum performance from your goggle, whether you're using a limit or not, you always want to make sure that you... You keep a, a clean surface on the top here. So periodically you want to make sure you're not getting iced up here or big chunks of mud or whatever. So that's really important. The second thing, we get this all the time, um, you know, long ago with people using goggles. When you're outside and it's, you know, 15 below zero and you walk into a lodge, the difference in temperature is going to cause a little condensation, a little mist to form on the outside of the lens. Um, this looks like fog, but it isn't fog. I mean, it's not, not fog that we can control. You have to remember that the module's mounted inside the goggle, and it'll maintain a, fr a fog-free surface on the inside of the goggle. There's nothing we can do about the outside. So if you come in on a really cold day into a really warm lodge, you're going to get some condensation here. Just so put your goggle on the table. Once it, once it stabilizes to room temperature, that condensation will go away. Now, the next thing is, let's say you're skiing and you fall down, and it's a big powder day and the inside of the goggle fills up with snow. The first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to knock the snow out of this goggle. You want to get as much out as you can, but any residual snow inside of this goggle, as it melts, it's going to create humidity, and you might find that your fan is coming on and off uh, more than normal. That's just because of the melting snow inside the goggle. It's trying to deal with this. So when you get down to the bottom of the run and you're sitting on the lift, you might take your little goggle bag and dab as much moisture as you can out of the inside of this goggle. Don't rub the lens, that's never a good idea, but dab the moisture out and then put it back on and, and let the illuminator do its thing. But um, large amounts of snow inside of the goggle, again, you're going to create a high humidity situation. Now the next thing is, if your fan is coming on more than you think it should, um, one of the things you should check is, are you overdressed? Um, this happens a lot, you know, a lot of times you're at the bottom of the mountain, you think it's really cold, you overdress, you get up to the top, there's a temperature inversion, it's warmer on the top, you're skiing around generating all this body heat and you're sweating like crazy and your fan is coming on more than you think. Um, this isn't a function of, of anything wrong with you, the eliminator, it may be more a function of are you overdressed. Um, see if you can peel off a layer of garment, um, bring your body temperature down a little bit and see if the performance doesn't increase. Um, for people who do a lot of hiking, uh, ski mountaineering or expedition climbing or what have you, um, this is the time when you might want to use the constant run mode. Um, if you're in the summer, you're, you're, you want to climb to the top of some glacier or some mountain or whatever, and you find that your fan is on, off, on, off, on, off constantly, then you might select the always on position. If you're concerned about you know doing a couple day ski trip or whatever and a lot of cross country skiing or as I mentioned ski or expedition mountaineering, you might want to take some extra batteries with you. One of the benefits of the Haber system is you can take this AAA battery and you can insert it into the strap right here at the end of the goggle. 
just like so. Slide it down, and it'll nest in there just perfect. You can put one in each side, and you have one in the eliminator. That gives you three batteries. That's that's a lot of runtime um, if you're nervous about that. And that's just one of the little features um, that we have on our Haber goggles. And that's it. That's it, and I uh, hope you enjoy your Haber eliminator.